What is Easter all about? If you poll people on the streets, you get all sorts of answers. But today, I want to talk to you about four things. Number one, Easter is not a day, it's a season. It begins on Easter Sunday and goes all the way through to Pentecost. It's a time of celebration. It's a time of celebration, which leads us to number two. We are a people of celebration. As Catholics, the one thing we do more than anything else is celebrate. We celebrate life, we celebrate death and new life and eternal life. We celebrate education, innovation, discovery. We celebrate love. We celebrate truth, beauty, goodness. We celebrate forgiveness and reconciliation. We celebrate unity. We celebrate family. We celebrate new life. We are a people of celebration. And here's the thing. You become what you celebrate. You become what you celebrate. If you celebrate death and destruction, you will become death and destruction. If you celebrate life and creativity, you will become life and creativity. And so the church's constant invitation is an invitation to celebrate and an invitation to celebrate the right things and to celebrate them with great vigor, with great enthusiasm, and to celebrate them often and regularly. Number three, Easter is not about chocolate eggs and chocolate bunnies, but they're still great. They're still fantastic. And it's still a great way to celebrate. And we're a people of celebration. Just don't celebrate too many of the chocolate eggs because we become what we celebrate. And I've just been told that one of the reasons for the chocolate eggs is that they symbolize the end of fasting. And so I'm so glad that someone has now given me some holy meaning to infuse into my chocolate eggs, which are an enormous tradition in the Kelly family, reaching back many, many generations. And number four, the secular calendar versus the church's calendar. There are two calendars at play here. We're familiar with the secular calendar because our lives center around it. Why? Because the secular world has centered our lives around it. The question I'd ask you to, to consider today is how aware are you of the church's calendar? How aware are you at different points in the year of where are we in the life of the church? Where are we in the church's calendar? Are we aware of, okay, today's a feast day. It's the feast of St. Francis, or it's the Feast of St. Dominic, or it's the Feast of Mother Teresa, or are we aware of these celebrations? Because the church is constantly inviting us to celebrate, inviting us on the Feast of St. Francis to celebrate the beauty, the simplicity of Francis's way, on the Feast of Mother Teresa to celebrate love for the poor and consideration of, of the least among us. The church is constantly inviting us to celebrate. It does that through the calendar, through the church's calendar. And so what I wanna challenge you to do is yes, celebrate Easter as a season this year in a very different way than any way you have in the past, but also make a resolution to become more aware of the church's calendar and the way the church is inviting you to celebrate in the different weeks and months of the year. God bless you. I hope you have a fabulous Easter season and that it fills you with new hope, new joy, new courage to go out into the world and become all God created you to be. Did you know that 71% of the people that watch Matthew Kelly's videos are not subscribers? That makes no sense. We need to change that. Subscribe today. Hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and turn on those notifications so you never miss out on another great video ever again.